Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you one potential solution for hosting and protecting your exclusive video content on your MemberPress websites and courses. And that's with a service called Video Cipher. So one of the most common things that we're asked in our support inbox is what's the best way to embed and then deliver exclusive video content to members? And also how to protect videos so that only paying members or people that you choose can actually see them. So a lot of people want to offer exclusive videos like classes, course videos, and even live streams, but they want to make extra sure that only their paying members, for example, or people who sign up can actually watch them. Or a step further, they want to make sure that people can't download their videos or share them elsewhere on the internet, stuff like that. So out of the box, MemberPress can protect files and also posts and pages, and also courses. So any content that you have embedded on a page or post or a course, including video embeds, will be protected so only your members can see it. And you can do that easily by creating a MemberPress rule, which is covered pretty extensively in our support documentation. So one of the most common ways that we see, especially with course creators, to host and embed videos is through YouTube. You can create a free YouTube account, upload your videos, and then just set the privacy settings on the video to unlisted. So only people with the video link or people viewing a page the video is embedded on can actually see it. So an unlisted video on YouTube isn't published anywhere publicly say on your YouTube channel, and it isn't searchable using YouTube search. So only people viewing the link or the video embedded somewhere can actually see and watch the video. And then that unlisted YouTube link can easily be embedded with WordPress. And right in the block editor, there's even a YouTube specific block type for it. So you can just add it just about anywhere on your website, including posts, pages, course pages, etc. So as far as security, if someone really wanted to download one of your YouTube videos, while it's still possible for people to do that, they would need at least some know-how and technical knowledge to be able to snag the video without you wanting them to. This might involve some like browser extension tools or third-party websites to do that. So there's no direct way to actually download your YouTube videos. And the same thing is true for pretty much any video that you have, whether you're embedding a video file, linking to a video file, or using a third-party service like Vimeo or YouTube. If someone's really dedicated to steal or download or share your video for whatever reason, without your permission, they can figure out a way to do it. They might even use screen capture software to record your YouTube video and snag it that way. So nothing is really 100% totally secure, but you can take steps to make it as difficult as possible for people to do it. And the service I'm going to be highlighting today offers some additional protection to really make sure your videos are locked down and only accessible where you choose. And that service is Video Cipher. Now, we don't really have a direct MemberPress integration with VideoCypher, and this isn't really an official partnership or something that we offer support for or anything like that. But it is something that we've tested out and feel comfortable recommending as a potential solution for people looking for more advanced security controls over their videos. VideoCypher is a secure video hosting service that you can use with your WordPress site, MemberPress, and MemberPress courses. VideoCypher helps protect your course videos from being downloaded or even captured through screen recording software. So to get started, first, you'll want to sign up for their website. So head to videocipher.com, check over their plans, and then see which one's best for you. And at the time of creating this video, they do offer a free trial. So you have that available to test it out if you want. And then once you have an account created, you'll need to install the VideoCypher plugin on your WordPress site. So from the WordPress dashboard, just go to plugins, add new, and then search for VDO Cypher. And then once you see it, just click to install and activate it. Once that's done, you'll see it added here to the left sidebar of WordPress. So just click on that. And next, you want to enter your API keys, which can be found on the VideoCypher website. So on VideoCypher.com, once you're logged in, just click on Dashboard. And then security and configuration over here on the left. And then API keys. And then create a new key and copy it. And then back in WordPress, right here under the Video Cipher plugin, just paste the API key here. And then be sure to save. Also, here under Video Cipher in WordPress, you can see some settings that you can set up including configuring a watermark right here. So what this does is display your username or IP address as an overlay on the video. So this feature helps deter screen capture attempts. 
Now, I'm not going to go too far in depth about watermarking in this video, but they have a pretty extensive support documentation page that gives some guides on how to use it. And we'll also see what this feature looks like in action later in the video. Okay, so once you have the server set up on your WordPress site, the next step is uploading your videos and then adding some optional security to them. So to upload videos, back in the Video Cipher website, and again in the dashboard, you just click on Videos here on the left and Upload to upload your videos. So you can see here, I already have some sample videos uploaded already right here. So once you have your videos uploaded, you'll see them all listed out here. And if you click Edit under a video, you'll see a bunch of options. You can change the name, you can add subtitles, chapters, and a bunch more. So an important section here when editing a video is security. So here, you can set it so only websites and domain names that you choose will be able to play this video. So if you only want this to be your website, for example, you would just paste your domain name or URL right here. And then you can choose whether it can only be played on a specific URL or all the subdomains of whatever site that you paste here. And right here, you can choose to block the playing of the video to certain countries even, or IP addresses. So right now, I'm going to paste in a domain name that is not my website to show you what this looks like on the front end. So what this is saying is that if this video tries to get played on any other domain or subdomain of any other website besides this one to restrict its playback. So since my website is not this URL right here, it'll block it from being played. So to make this take effect, I'll click here to save it. And we'll see what this looks like on the front end in just a bit. Okay, so once you have a video uploaded, to embed it on your WordPress pages and posts or MemberPress course pages, you can just click embed right here under the video. And then in this screen, you'll see this option for WordPress. So right here, you'll see a short code that will let you embed this particular video on your website. And just quick note, right here, you'll see some useful links with tutorials with a whole lot more information on watermarking and using Video Cipher with WordPress. So be sure to check those out. So let's say I want to embed this video on a course. I would just copy this short code right here and then go back to WordPress. So right here in the editor, I can just choose where I want the video and then just paste that short code right here. And it'll automatically register it as a short code and go ahead and embed that video right here. Also, once you have the Video Cipher plugin installed in your WordPress site, you can open up the block inserter right here and it'll actually add a block type specific to Video Cipher, which lets you embed any video you have based on the video ID. So you would just paste that ID here and then embed the video. So both this method with this specific block type and copy and pasting the short code will all work the same. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and save my lesson right here. And once it's saved, I'll click here to view it. And you can see the video was embedded but you can see that I can't actually play it. And that's because if you remember, my domain is not added to the video cipher settings or the settings on the video. I restricted another domain, which we just saw. So it's blocking this video's playback. So if anyone tried to embed the video on their website, they won't be able to, since you can control exactly what domains the video can be played on. So now let's go back to video cipher and click to edit the video. And then going back to security, now I'm gonna paste in my domain. So my website, and then any subdomain of my site will be able to have the video played on it. But that's it, it won't be able to be played anywhere else. So now I'll save these settings. And then going back to my lesson. And now since adding my domain, you can see that I can play the video. So this is just one of Video Cipher's powerful video security tools that you can use on your MemberPress website and courses. Also, just note, if I go back to Video Cipher, you don't have to set up the security on every single individual video. You can set your domain so that all your videos will allow it. So right here on the Video Cipher dashboard, on the left under Security and Config and Security, you can just set your domain here. And this will apply to all your videos. Okay, so now I wanna show you some other security features. So I'll show you how to set up a watermark and what that looks like, and then also how it blocks your videos from being screen capture recorded. So going back to Video Cipher here on the left sidebar of WordPress, right here is where you can set up your watermark. 
So you would just paste your code here and then click save to make it take effect. So here's some sample code that you can use or modify for your watermark. And they do have some more information on the Video Cipher website and how to further customize your watermark as well. But for this basic example, I'll just use this dynamic watermark code that you see here. So this makes the text move around on the video screen and then static will keep it in one place. So I'll just copy it right here and then paste it in. And then I'll modify the text size a little bit right here. And I'll leave the color set as it is. And then I'll leave it set to show my name. But you can change that too. So once I have my watermark text pasted in here, I'll click here to save it. So now my watermark's taking effect. Now when I go back to my course page and click to view it, when I play the video, you can see the watermark text right here moving around on the screen. So this security feature can make it pretty difficult for people to steal your videos and claim them as your own. Also, another security feature of Video Cipher is the ability to block your video from being recorded on someone else's screen using video capture software. So to show you this, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and then open up a screen recording tool on my computer. Okay, so now I have a video screen recording tool simply open on my computer. Now, when I go back to my lesson, and then try to play the video again. You can see that it plays, but the video screen is blanked out. And you can also see my dynamic watermark. So it's blocking the video's playback since it does detect that I have screen capture software open. And plus, additionally, I can't download the video either. So this video is fully protected from being recorded or downloaded. So those are just some of the key video security features that you can utilize with Video Cipher. Again, check out their website to see what other features they offer on their WordPress plugin. They have other stuff like offering Google's Widevine and Apple's Fairplay DRM, which ensures a pretty top-notch security. So those are the same DRM technologies that streaming giants like Netflix utilize, providing the strongest encryption available. So unauthorized downloads can be effectively prevented. Okay, so one last thing I wanna mention is how to modify the actual video player that's shown on your videos. So back in the Video Cipher website, from your dashboard, if you go to security and config and custom player, you can create custom players right here or edit existing ones. So this lets you adjust how your players look and what features it has in it. You can change the colors to match your brand and you can enable or disable specific buttons too. So if you have an educational video, say for an online course, for example, and wanna prevent skipping around, you can remove the progress bar or you can umbrella all controls into one button to declutter your player. And you could change the speed control options as well. You can set a particular theme as the default for your whole account, applying it to all your videos, or you can choose different themes for your different videos. So once you save your player, right here on this page, you can toggle whatever player you want to be your default across all your videos right here. And that's it. You've now seen how to use Video Cipher to host and protect videos on your MemberPress website. So outside of hosting your own video files on your server or using YouTube or another video hosting platform, I hope this has given you another option to host your exclusive videos and enhance video security to keep your content locked down. And again, check out Video Cipher support documentation by going to support here on the left and tutorials and documentation for a lot more guidance and information. Also, be sure to follow the MemberPress blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.